Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, talk about a specific type of problem we have here in the book. We're going to evaluate a trig expression. They want us to find the exact value of sine u plus v, the sine of the two angles u plus v added together. And they give us a little bit of background information. They tell us, well, the sine of the first angle is 4 fifths, and the angle is between 0 and pi over 2. That means quadrant 1. So that's very important information. And the second angle, V, well, the cosine of that angle is negative 12 thirteenths, and that's because it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. That means it's in quadrant 2. So our first step then, obviously, in, in doing this problem is to identify what quadrant it's in. Second step is to go ahead and draw a triangle in that quadrant. So I'm going to draw a triangle in the first quadrant. I'm going to label two sides. I know that the sine is opposite, so opposite is 4, over hypotenuse, which is 5. That means the third side, by the way, you can use Pythagorean theorem and find out that it's 3, 4, 5. That's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. This gives us very important information because now not only do we know that the sine is 4 fifths, but we know that the cosine of u is 3 fifths. And we're going to have to use that here in just a second. Okay, second triangle. This time I'm drawing it in the second quadrant because it's the quadrant that they tell me it's in. I know that the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so this must be a negative 12 and this must be a positive 13, right? Negative at 12 because it goes to the left. Now if I do a little Pythagorean theorem, this looks like uh, I should have this one memorized, but I've forgotten it. It ends up being 12, 5, 13. Exactly 5. Pythagorean theorem will tell you that. So this is important because it tells us that if the cosine is negative 12, 13 and it's in the second quadrant, then, then we know the sine is 5, 13, right? So we know the sine of V is equal to 5, 13. Now, they wanted us with this information to find sine of u plus v. So I come back and I bring up my formulas here. And of course, at some point in time, you need to memorize these. But for the time being, we're practicing. So we're going to go ahead and use our cheat sheet. The sine of u plus v is sine u cosine v plus cosine u sine v. So sine u, they give to me, is 4 fifths times the cosine of v, which I have, is negative 12 thirteen. That is plus the cosine of u, which is positive 3 fifths. We figured that out on our own. Times the sine of v, which we figured out is 5 thirteenths. And so now all we have to do is we need to simplify this expression. So we get our calculators out. I'm going to do this one, one set of fractions at a time. Left side, 4 fifths times 12 thirteenths. is 48 65 It is negative because of this negative sign here. So it's negative 48 65 plus, and then I have, okay, on this side at least I can do this. The fives go away, and I'm left with 3 13 So negative 48 65 plus 3 13 gives me a grand total of negative 33 65 and that is the value of sine u plus v. Let's do another example, a similar example, almost exactly the same. This time we've been asked to find cosine u minus v. And so I go through, and maybe, maybe you want to do this first after we figure out our quadrants. Let's see, this says it's between pi and 3 pi over 2, that's 180 and 270. So this is third quadrant, we're going to be drawing a triangle. This one says it's between 0 and pi over 2, so that's first quadrant. I'm going to go through and I'm going to label the sides, right? So I got cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That means this side must be a negative 15 and this must be a positive 17. And I do a little Pythagorean theorem and I find out that the third side is 8. It's negative, by the way, because it's going down. I guess that's pretty important. I should mention that. Over here, sine is 4 fifths. That's opposite over hypotenuse. This happens to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle. That's what I know. The third side for Pythagorean theorem is 3. All right, now I go to my cosine u minus v formula, which is right here. Of course, this needs to be memorized at some point in time, once again. But I find out, scoot it up a little bit so I can fit it all in. What I need to know is the cosine and the sine of both of those angles. So up here, I already know the cosine, but I need to know the sine. The sine in the third quadrant is negative. It's negative 8, 17 sine u is negative 8 17. And over here, I need to know, I know the sine of this angle, but I need to know the cosine. 
and I look at this and I say, well, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 fifths. The cosine of D is equal to 3 fifths. So now I go to my formula. Cosine of U minus V is cosine U times cosine V plus sine U times sine V. So now let's go fill in our brackets here. What do we have? Cosine U, that's negative 15 17. Cosine V is a positive 3 fifths. Sine U is negative 8 17. And sine V is positive 4 fifths. So now it comes time to just reduce this, simplify this. I see 15 over 5. I can go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't see anything else that cancels, so it's time to then, well, here, I can already do this. This is 9 17 and it is negative. Remember, this is a negative sign right here. I'm going to have a negative sign right here, so it's minus. Uh, 8 times 4 is 30. Well, let's see if that simplifies down. 8 17 times 4 fifths. 32 85th doesn't reduce at all. So if I take minus 9 17 minus 32 85th and I put those together, it's going to give me a negative 77 over 85. And that's how we evaluate a trig expression in a problem like this.